Hi, I'm Lois Seafong, and um, we moved into the neighborhood in St. Francis Square um, uh, almost 30 years ago, 1984, when uh, Frank Jordan was the precinct captain and Northern was still on uh, Ellis, and I remember the precinct community meetings. But I've seen um, this city change so much so fast, and especially this neighborhood Western Edition. So everything that we learned and we saw about redevelopment and the Project A, and 400 Japanese families were pushed out, and you know the neighborhood has gone through, I don't know how many times Marcus books moved before they're in the location they're in. Okay, so my first uh, knowledge of Taser was my friend uh, sold tasers at his visit video store up at Balboa and Fourth when Diane Feinstein and Dick Blum lived in his neighborhood. So um, our apartment at St. Francis Square is directly over the Buchanan White parking lot. So my direct experiences, the old Y, um, when Yori Wada was still alive and Tamatra Scott, if anybody remembers Scotty, that was a neighborhood where at least people knew each other. Um, we had a young um, uh, boy, eight. I watched him grow up, and he is uh, developmentally delayed, okay? And thank goodness in the co-op, everyone knew where, who he was, and we all watched out uh, for each other. But I would be um, afraid or concerned if he came back to visit, which he does, now because not everybody knows him anymore and anybody who's been around in the community long enough he's named after a very respected african leader okay so my point is where are the people i've been in the neighborhood long enough to know the guys at the recycling center in the safeway parking lot okay and i do not look down on them some of them are the smartest, hardworking people I know. One of them was a janitor in our co-op and is now pushing a shopping cart around the neighborhood. So for those of us who know people, it's not a matter, I, I believe you're trying your best to be public servants. This city is not what it was. It's changing too fast and um, so the 911 calls I make, it's frustrating to call over and over and not be recognized, okay, at the station. Um, every time we call, we have to explain where the Buchanan White parking lot is. Or um, uh, we used to at least know the officer, the Japanese American, I, I don't believe is in the precinct anymore. There was no African American for the longest, longest time. Um, so, you know, I can detail grisly, um, we were mugged the first day we moved in in 1984, and the police actually took us to Plaza East. I stood there while everybody was staring because they knew the hallway where the wallets and the, and, and the purses were left, okay? Um, I've had to not just call, but intervene. So when I went down, you know, many Japanese young people, tourists come right through here. And so I physically went down to help a young woman and I believe there was a gun involved when that happened. Another one was shot at Luna and Cleary. Um, if you remember the karaoke uh, uh, over Denny's, uh, there was a death-related incident. Um, you know there was another shooting and uh, a, a death two days ago at Fillmore and Geary. And then, um, I mean, I can go on and on. In Chinatown, my husband and I witnessed an off-duty cop who was Asian. There was a skirmish, and we witnessed the killing and death of an African American. It was at Jackson and Kearney in front of the old United Bank. It was over a year before we heard from OCC, and I'm old enough, I remember Marge Levy, if anybody remembers Marge Levy on OCC. No resolution came of that case, okay? We never heard what happened. So last but not least, um, we drive through the Tenderloin. My husband's office is in the Swinnerton, down by the Caltrain station. So we go through the Tenderloin, down um, uh, Eddy, and up Ellis or Turk every day. So I am very concerned and do not understand why there isn't this kind of meeting in that kind of neighborhood. Because we've seen people push from this neighborhood 
into the tenderloin over to Mission and 14, 15, 16. <laughs> So those of us who know the city and know the people, oh, last but not least, my son graduated from Washington. On his graduation stage, the young man, African-American, got a football scholarship. He drove across the Bay Bridge to tell his father he was hit and, you know, his leg was amputated. So, I, you know, I would like to say his name because his mother's a lawyer. He was shot and killed. Okay, you know the old Plaza East in those new projects coming out of a car that had been outfitted for him to be able to drive the car, he was shot and killed. So I'm not saying that you're not trying to do your best, but I don't think that these tasers and these other data or instruments or whatever, nothing replaces people knowing people and helping each other. And we're turning into a city where it's gonna sound like the old Manhattan, the old Chicago, the the L LA, whatever, but San Francisco is just, it's, it's, it's getting out of control. Uh, Ms. Song, folks, um, I, I just want you to say, I just want to say that we do hear you, we appreciate your comments. Um, and if you would like the, the commission to have a meeting in your neighborhood, there, please call the commission office and speak to the secretary about that. <laughs>